and welcome to the Diamond Dreams exhibit here at the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum. I'm Craig Muter, the Hall's Director of Communications, and recently the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League held its annual reunion right here in Cooperstown. Come with us behind the scenes and see a little bit of what made such an exciting afternoon here in Cooperstown. It's always a wonderful day when you know you're going to be with one or as many as 47 uh, players who played in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League some of the greatest ambassadors for the game of baseball that I've been privileged to work with in my 18 years here at the Hall of Fame. But I got an extra special sign this morning that it was going to be an extra special day. I got in my car and I turned it on and the radio came on and there was an old song from the 1970s playing called Diamond Girl. <laughs> and if you know that song, you know that right after Seals and Crofts sing Diamond Girl, they sing You Sure Do Shine. <laughs> I know. He covered you up and it covered the stuff before and I couldn't find it. <laughs> because I was so ingrained with the idea that we were going to look like ladies. So I can tell you, we did put the books on our head and we did walk. <laughs> we did walk like ladies. Just like in the we? movie. Yeah. yeah. And because I wasn't there in the first year, I didn't get out there until June. But when I think of it, wasn't it just great to think that uh, maybe we weren't going to do this? But the we're fact still that playing, uh -huh. although they didn't come to our town because we didn't have a team. But uh, you look too young to have the games. Here, go ahead. You have to. This one, this one, and this one. Here, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, young lady. Thank That's you. not my pen, but uh, Thank you. That's fine. It Thank was. You. Uh, it's such a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very, very much, much, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow also. This is very exciting. Okay. What did you think, of, what did you think of her as a pitcher? Oh, very good. She was a left hand. How about a hitter? She was a I didn't want to face her. You can say that now. Well, Wrigley, of course, they played there. Um, one of their all-stars. Some of these cartoons are great. I have some. Um, I get a kick out of these things. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No real relationship to baseball, but, you know. Yeah, it's cute. Like yep. Yep. Yeah, I was sort of thinking maybe you're in the... She was talking about the skirts, that they were so you know, wide. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and she says, how come yours is not that wide? I says, well, I asked permission if I could take it in to just let it hang. And she says, well, what was the reason for that? I says, well, because when you go into your pitch, I actually dropped the ball hitting my skirt. And I said, if I did that in a real game, it's a balk, you know. So he says, okay, go ahead. And being I knew how to sew, so I just took a couple of seams in and made it a little narrower. Girl, even this, one she's going to be a bad girl. Yeah, she's one of our bad girls. We depend on the uh, depends on the okay, score whether I'm going to chase somebody here? with the bat or not. <laughs> Are you on the same side? Beg your pardon? Are you on the same side? Stay the Oh yeah, tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow I, I, definitely. Oh yeah, yeah yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> this is my bad girl here. Yeah, we got to straighten these people out. <laughs> I love it. We could not have made the Women in Baseball exhibit, the Diamond Dreams exhibit, without you all. And I want to thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts and, uh, and thank you for the opportunity to be a part of, uh, of your world. So thank you very much, I appreciate it.